have to be affected by lack of understanding, lack of knowledge, lack of experience before if we make a change. Families featured in our first alert investigation into the conduct of the Cape Girardeau County Coroner call on county leaders to make the change to a medical examiner. Good evening, everyone. They spoke out during a public meeting designed to weigh the pros and cons of the county going from an elected official to a hired medical doctor. When I began my investigation into current coroner Wavis Jordan, I realized at some point the story and this debate over a possible change to a medical examiner would come together. Well, that happened this morning when several families chose to attend this morning's public meeting. How things are handled in that moment matters. Experience matters. Expertise matters. Dan Rose laid out his case for a medical examiner by expressing what he sees as the expense of a county this size not having one. The expense of travel, out-of-county autopsies. These all are cost. Poor decisions, indecision is all costs. So I do understand that this position of a medical examiner will cost the county more, but there are benefits to it that have not really been stated, but except for a few. And there are costs involved that people have experienced because of how things were handled with their deceased loved one. You can't put a figure on that. Those are things that don't go away. Also at this public meeting, Christy Young Clover and Jenny Blankenship. They've never been in the same room as Coroner Wavis Jordan, only speaking to him by phone 11 months after learning about the death of young Clover's 29-year-old son. Blankenship spoke to the commission, saying Cape County is big enough to support this level of medical service. We have resources that we need to utilize and utilize them more appropriately. I believe that a medical examiner would would be the more appropriate way to utilize what we do have. The time factor, the money factor, nothing can put a price on knowing actual answers to what happened, to how is my loved one being handled, what happened is, is a huge question. You know, if you don't know, that's something that weighs heavy on your heart for the rest of your life. Dana Mueller came to the meeting with her niece after telling us her family feels they'll never know how her sister Susan died. We watched as 20-year-old Lauren Westrich approached the podium and spoke Westrich. on behalf I live in of Fruitland, her Jackson. I did not think about speaking today, but I will say, you know, when you're in schools, they don't teach you about death. They don't teach you about coroners. When I found that the coroner was not a medical professional, that when my mom passed away, I was livid. People talk about costs, talk about money, but can you really put a price on the peace we get from knowing that the steps were taken correctly in our family's passing? When my mom passed away, it was two days after my 18th birthday. Nothing, like he was nice, he was very lovely, I can say all that. I actually knew Ava Jordan from one of my family friends. I didn't even know he was the coroner. I knew him as nice way he was Jordan. Didn't have a problem with him until my mom's death. The steps were not taken. I got told, oops, sorry, I didn't take the right steps. With a medical examiner, I know these steps are going to be taken correctly. I don't care about the price. I see a lot of people in here. If our elected coroner was doing his correct job, I don't think we'd be having this meeting today. And it's 2023. I think it's time for a medical examiner. That is all. Presiding Commissioner Clint Tracy began to wrap up the meeting when Sherry Stairs decided she wanted to speak. Okay. Stairs used to work with Dana Mueller and came to the meeting to talk about the sudden death of her husband Glenn in November 2021. Stairs says she asked Wavis Jordan for an autopsy. He told her he'd do toxicology. She told commissioners neither happened. And I don't have an answer, and I will never have an answer on what happened to him at age 56. We had been married 24 years. I planned on having 50 years. 
but I don't have it, and I don't have answers, and will never have them, thanks to him not bothering to follow up and do what was asked. Please, look at doing an actual medical examiner or somebody that's got some medical experience. Coroner Jordan did tell me he is against the county changing to a medical examiner, and while he attended this morning's hearing, he did not address the commission or speak publicly about his office. We also tried speaking with him once the meeting ended. Mr. Jordan, any thoughts about the medical examiner's office? No comments. Okay, thank you, sir. The commission has until December 31st to announce if it will move to a medical examiner or keep the current coroner model. In the meantime, commissioners did vote to start accepting proposals from many medical professionals interested in bringing an ME's office to Cape County. Look for the latest on this still developing story both on air and online.